system. Welcome everybody. We are ready to rock and roll, doing a little bit of uh, Starfinder in this friend zone. Everybody say hi. Hello. All right, we heard from Reno. Bobby, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, my mic was muted. Hello, everybody. Hey. And we have Atomic Hero Squad in the chat. Welcome, welcome. As um, you heck. nice, bright, and early, right as we start. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Atomic Hero Squad, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, check him out uh, every Monday through Friday, early in the morning. He'll be there bright and early. Uh, they've been, he's been doing a new Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's a new game that just came out Friday. So he's been sort of binging that one. Um, knowing him, he might, may have already finished it this weekend. But uh, regardless, check him out. Um so when last we left our intrepid adventurers, they were busy in the EOS club basement, and they had been, um, let me see, I'm trying to get this, uh, there we go, all right, so, uh, they have been searching for the information that had been stolen from the Deep Cultures Institute, transmitted from their computer to somewhere else. After following a couple different leads, it led them here to this complex. So there was nothing upstairs, so they went downstairs. Um, they are now in a room full of computers, so this might be the their goal. But uh, there is a couple people here who do not want them to achieve that goal. So uh, let's get rolling here. Um, don't know what's going on with Roberta's Discord. Let's see if she'll respond in a chat. Whoa, maybe. Come on. Boink. All right, so we'll see what that does. Um, all right, so let's uh, get back into the action. There were two people in here that they were fighting. One of them has already been taken out. Uh, it was a little more of a nerdy type person. Um, and the... Uh, boss lady is what's who's left so i'll kill the message of the day uh we are missing mr jingo uh, he is under the weather so um uh, sounds he'll loud be, he'll be feeling better soon um and uh he and his wife were both out for a couple weeks and now she's better but uh he's still Feeling a little down, so I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, he'll be back in two weeks when we continue our adventures. But speaking of continuing adventures, Orindor, it is your turn. Top of the round nine. You guys have been going for a while now. Uh, the, don't forget those big black squares toward the top of the room are the grease. Uh, you guys have successfully managed to get out of that finally. Uh, it did take you guys out for a little while, but uh, you guys managed to get out of that now. And Orndor, it is your turn. Oh, just one second. Just a <sighs> okay, I've got one more shot of uh, the pistol. I see that I'm running out of bullets here, so I can shoot my last bullet and wipe her out. There we go. She's targeted. Okay. Go. Please, please. Oh my god. 
teetered on a 19. All right. So give first me thing of the day. First roll of the first night. It's going to only right. get better yeah. from here. There you go. Oh. Here's my roll. Close, but not quite. Here's my roll for you. All right. There's my roll. All right. So, uh, so that's a good roll. Look at that. 14, 17s, 19s, 16, 19, 18, 13. That's some good stuff right there. All right. I'm ready right, now. Are you gonna move I've warmed up. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, if, I t if I announce that I'm taking cover here, is that going to do anything? Or should I should say, if she decides to move on her turn, it ain't going to do deadly squad, is it? Correct. If she moves closer to she, you, she, you, she will, you will no longer have cover. But if she doesn't, I do. Correct. You know what? I, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna move to try to increase okay. my cover possibilities. Can I go like that and have cover there between the chair and the the uh, edge of the desk? There, you consider that. Okay. All right. That's what I'll do. All right. So you scooch over a little bit, trying to get some duck down behind the cover in the chair. Um, She's on fire from one of the criticals, one of the several criticals you guys scored last week. Yep. Just trying to clear away all these windows I have open. All right. So um, see her armor is burning a little bit oh. as she's dealing with this uh, uh, squawks. And it hasn't been able to hit her yet, so he's not, she's not going to really worry about the squawks. Just more of an annoyance than anything else. Um, I honestly don't remember who it was that she was fighting with. So we're going to go with... Uh, uh, there we go. So it looks like we have Roberta on. I'm Discord. on. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of randomness here. And all right, she's going for Orendor. Oh, she takes her rifle and uh, aims at Orendor. He is undercover. Yay. So she has a little bit of a minus as he ducks down behind the chair. She sees her firing at him. Uh, it's blasts through the arm of the chair and slams into him. All right. So Doc Dade. So Doc is is uh, he's gonna allow. Uh, take his action to allow his pet to do its action, and he's going to sort of uh, gonna stay where he is, sort of keeping an eye on Loki, who is actually into hit points, and Twitch, uh, who is also into hit points. Um, not a whole lot he can do during the fight right now, so he's going to uh, allow the squawks to take its turn. Um, it would normally be right after him, so let me switch. Yeah, I still don't understand why it doesn't do that. It does on my other table. It's just weird. As a companion, it should automatically be right next to him. All right, so the beaker is going to try to do its little trick and try to knock the gun out of her hand, the rifle out of her hand. So that would be a an attack. And it's against her KAC. But that is a miss as it tries to bite at it and she just flicks it away and it rolls on the floor, gets back up and runs over. Alright, Twitch. 
Mm. Okay. I already have her targeted. So you are hurt into hit points a little bit. Okay. Not a lot I can do about it right now. She does have cover, uh, so P cover, if you're shooting at her. Okay. Let's see here. How far away am I from her? 35B. Auto target. Oof. Dismal. Dismal. <laughs> All right, so rifle shot goes out, and uh, she ducks, goes past past her as uh, Loki. It is your go. I guess I'll shoot at her too. Fuck. Um. Okay. I'm shooting her. A little pew pew. Nine, 15. All right, so it slams into her but doesn't pierce your armor. And that is the bottom of the round as we move on to the next round. Orendor, you get to. Uh... Again. Lead us off. Yes. The fire is actually just her, right? And I have... Talking about the fire between you and her? Yes. That is yeah. when it's where her. Twitch it's tried to intentionally hit the computer. Or mm -hmm. so, it is, so it is on fire then. Okay. Well, it's damaged a little bit. It's just there to show that it was, it was damaged a little bit. Okay, I have it. good athletics and, I mean, good acrobatics and great athletics. Uh, I would like to pull out my sword and just go straight at her. Okay. It's a su surprise type of a move type of thing. Just come right over the counter and stab at her. A little stabby stab, as you say. All right. Um, you guys are What's this, just to say? level four. I would say this was a... Um, in between an easy and a challenging parkour feat for you since you're a little halfling. So it's going to be give me an acrobatics check. And it is DC 15. Roll the 2. It landed on, it was on the 20 and it tipped over to the 2. Alright, so. I think Roberta blew on it or something. She sneezed. You can't go over, but you can crawl under if you want. It's not as exciting and cool okay. looking, but it'll get you there if you want. <laughs> okay, I will do that. <laughs> All right. All right. So you so were there. I am Jason there. To her. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, it's like going up. It changes mind halfway, and then times down. <laughs> Like, ah, go. That was not successful. All right, here we go. Where my helmet go? Oh, there we go. It's, it's on. Well, the dice have not been friendly to you today. One, two, and three. You are getting better, though. You are slowly, by the end of the night, you'll be good to go. I know, right? 
as you all right so you pull out your long sword okay nice and uh try to slash at her but she um crawling underneath the table and stuff um she sees you coming and sort of pushes the squawks in your face and the two of you are sort of wrestling for a moment and it's um throws you off enough to where you aren't able to actually hit uh all right so let's go with loki uh she's got partial cover correct from where you are yes she has peak cover uh -huh. okay Mother trucker. <laughs> Give me another percentile. You're good to go. Was not a critical fumble. Are you going to move or anything else? No. All right. So I, I've died. I'm almost died twice in this fight. So <laughs> I'm not. Yes. You, you roughed up quite a bit. So the one that did it to you, though, is gone. So, for the most part, uh, just got one left. All right, so before Doc takes his turn, we have Felgor in chat. Welcome again. Welcome back. Glad to see you uh, out there. Sure. And we have a redemption of Song in My Heart. Um, so, the sad thing is... Right it's now, horrible for us. <laughs> right now, I have a tiny, tiny, tiny snippet um, that is just repeating incessantly, uh, and I don't, I cannot place the rest of the song. Um, so what I've been hearing nonstop is over and over and over. Do, 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 do. And um, that's the little tune that's going in my head. And I know it's from something. I know it's part of a bigger song. I even want to think it's a female group, maybe. But that is the only thing that I have going on in my heart right now. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's what's in my heart right now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So. Well, at least it's that better than mine has words in it, and I keep going over and over. That's right. That is the risk you take when you redeem the song in my heart. Sometimes it's really great. Sometimes it's just one short phrase over and over and over. And It is a one thing that I just can't place the song. Um, it appears to be from a movie. <laughs> okay. I looked it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. So, uh, but uh, talk, uh, Del Gore tells was talking to Orendor, saying you should tuck and roll and make it look like he tried to psych her out. There you go. That'll do it. All Jane right. Roman. So, Okay. Uh, all right, so Doc, so I was looking at, as you guys are taking your turns, and realized that Twitch has not been assisted by the field dressing, as far as I can tell. I do not see him marked as such. So uh, Doc is going to try to scooch on through Loki's space over here and move up here um, and do a little bit of uh, field dressing on Twitch, duck down. On uh, get down on his knees as he's twitches firing and stuff, and um, do a little bandaging onto Twitch uh, using his buyer hackerness. He can do that field dressing right here. So it gives him 1d6 plus 4 healing. Oh, look at that. He didn't even need all that. Um, he was only down 5, but hey. You're now no longer down on those five. Woohoo! Boom. So you're no longer into he healing, into um, hit points. Nice. Um, and Beaker can't do anything then. Uh, so, Twitch, it is your turn. 
Uh, Lo 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 Loki's not in in his hit points yet, right? He's just finished out with his fatigue, right? He's down five oh. or nine, something like nine, that. nine. Yeah, he's down nine. Nine. Where? Where? nine. Loki. Yes. I, how do you? Yeah. Oh, nine is wounded. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am confused. Oh, the hit points number doesn't ever change. It stays the same. You just take it away from all this other stuff. Correct. Okay. So the hit I point um, is, is wounds are go against your hit points, and your fatigue goes against your stamina it's points. Stamina. So your stamina points and your okay. hit points, in theory, should never change. Okay. So he's got some damage. All right, here we go. Sorry. All right. I'm doing a rolling charge. Is that a thing? Okay, okay. I can see how the room is set up. Do you have enough to go down and around? What's the speed on that? Um, I don't know that there's a speed. It says AC 5, attack 4. So what is your normal speed? Oh, my normal speed is... 30. All right. So you would have to go like this. Why isn't it showing me this movement? Uh, can, I, can I move him from here? Yes. All right. So you would come down, bounce off the wall, bounce up and hit her. Um, that would be 50 feet. So. What if I don't want to hit her? What if I don't want to go that direction? What oh. if I want to do a rolling charge into the, like, right here where the computer is damaged, right up, uh, right above Orendor? Okay. Uh, yeah, you could do that. Um, you do realize, then, you would know that if, that means if there's anything important in the computer, you may risk losing it. But, yes, you could do that. Absolutely. Possibly. And then I'll um, remaneuver myself to stand at the end of my rolling charge. Okay. So we, uh, are you just doing that for to, to get the defense, or are you doing that to actually attack the computer, mm. the console? Get the defense. I okay. want the defense. Oh, yeah, then that's not a problem at all. So go ahead and plot your movement. Okay, so my movement is going to be... Boom, boom, boom. So like a, a... the roly-poly bugs, I don't know the technical term for them, that's what we used to call them, or... Uh, Sal bugs is the twitch rolls up and potato bugs like rolls. a bowling ball, man. Here I go. Yep, and and then boing at the end. Ta da! <laughs> jazz hands and uh, all she's all six of them. That's right, all six of her little jazz hands. All right, so you are there. Yeah, I don't. I... Do I click the little person here underneath my rolling charge? What's if that you're, for? If you're not oh. attacking the oh console and you're not staying in the ball, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Cool. Had there been a trap or someone else shooting at you at that point, then you would have had the extra armor class. But there wasn't, gotcha. so you're good to go. Cool. So that, right. that's, that's your movement. You can still do your whatever attack you mm -hmm. wanted to or anything no, else. I can't. I can't. That's a part of the rolling charge. I cannot attack at the end of it. Okay, gotcha. All right. So now it's her turn. Her armor continues to burn. Um, as she sees you come up, um, you see her sort of looking around a little bit. Little calculations appearing above her head. Um, it's like that meme as uh, she's going to slash out again at Orendor now. Uh, she drops her rifle and slashes out with her, it's called a solar brand. And. Uh, hey, be brand to me. Burns into him a little bit. Doing 10 points of damage. And that is the bottom of the round. So the top of the next round, Twitch, your roll gave you momentum, and you're now able to start us off in the next round. 
Woohoo! All right. Hand axe. Woo -woo. She's still targeted, right? Yeah, she is. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> you are tall enough to where I'm not going to worry about the computer acting that as cover. That was the plan. Ooh, yeah. there. Uh -huh. Let's do some slice and dice. Come on, let's do it. All right, so some a little bit of damage to her. Uh, go ahead and pass the turn if you're done. And it is back to Doc. Let's see, he is going to... All right, he's Orndor on his computer console. Uh, he, his med lab lets him know what's going on. He sees Orndor is now in hit points also. So he... Let me see. Is Orndor have an AC boost? I'm half. I'm half he does not. So he's going to slide down. What does it mean? He's not connected to me? He's going to move down oh, here and he's going to shoot him. And as he's moving, he's loading up his making a little, couple of little clicks and little lights appear on his gun as he fires a needle at him and it automatically hits because he is a biohacker. He hacks bios That's cool. and he is doing a basic booster right here. Armor class. Boop. There you go. So you feel your these nanites spread out over you and uh, you get a little bit of, of extra oomph to your attack. I mean, to your armor class. Uh, Beaker can't do anything because the doc moved. He's going to slide over here. And the commander is not going to use her reaction to try to hit him. Uh, actually, she is. She would do that. Um, so as he moves... She's going to see if she can slash at him. Ooh, with a 19, she does. There's this little annoying things running around. There's a little bit of damage to him. But Beaker's tough. Uh, he's got... Where'd it go? 40 hit points. So he, she did 12 points to him. He's still doing just fine. Beaker has um, 40 hit points? He does. Hit points to me. Yep. How how does it be? How is it so high? I don't. You know, it me has asking. no stamina. It's only hit points. You guys oh. have hit points and stamina. Oh. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. So she sees the situation starting to turn a little bit. She's gonna try one more attack at Orindor with her sword. Maybe she can take him out before things get too crazy here. Minimum, minimum damage does not take him out. As Loki, it's your turn. You've got yeah. Twitch in your way. And a big uh, computer console. So here's, I'm going to move right here in front okay. of this computer console. And then I want to uh, use my quick scan to or can I do that? Can I move and do that? Because it says it's a standard action. Yes. I guess you that would be the same as the wanted. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm so going to scan the computer. Up. My hand over it. Hold my hand over it. All right. So that's uh So you see that there's uh, a lot of um, so uh, that that red those red lights along the wall there are monitors as well uh, as well as the monitors that are there the 3D monitors at the console 
um, and you see that they're scanning um, and recording different news and uh, media information. Um, so as you as you do a quick scan, you see that there's a lot of the different um, media information. Let me check, make sure, see what else that quick scan would get you. There it is. Let's see. Here it is. Um, General sense of the information stored on drives or other digital storage media. Yeah, you see um, it's sifting news about communications among various burning archipelago factions, including the Deep Culture Institute, Sunrise Collective, and other Lashunta militias in Asana Town, a few Corona gangs, such as the Bloodshots and the Sirocco. All of which you guys have run into part before. So let me uh, unlock this. I will share that into the chat with you. Control C. Boom, there you go. So if you don't remember, the Deep, Deep Culture Institute is the uh, museum. You guys are, are sort of helping Not out. Really. Sunrise Collective were the people that you rescued over in Asana Town. Um, the Lashunta Militias were sort of the people that sort of rose up a little bit and tried to do a little rebellion over in Asana Town. Um, and the Bloodshots you know about with Mama Thrash, and they attacked the DCI. And the Sirocco were the was the band the gang that stopped you that uh as you came in and you guys quickly dispatched them so anyway yes uh and there's other gangs as well as just those two but you do see that in your quick six second scan all right orindor um if i am Andrew, to the point that I am, I'm not prone or I have any other disadvantages currently. Correct. Okay. Can I make a dive under the under the thing, under the console here? All right, not so fight, but do, do, do a full dive. You can do a f under um, the console to, to get out of the way. Yeah, you can do a, your five foot guard Sorry. step, and that can count as like a dive underneath the console to get out of the way. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. All right, so move five, right, one square right there. in any direction. Okay. okay. So you dive out underneath whoosh, using a guarded step. So you still have your action if you want to use an action. All right. I, I'm dropping my uh, now wasted semi auto and grabbing my laser. I, not my laser, my pistol laser. Laser pistol. There we go. Okay. I'm still targeted. No, she's not. Yes, All right, so okay. as a halfling, she has cover from you. Okay. P cover? Nope, regular cover. Holy okay. shit. Okay. Oh, All right. uh, seven on a dice is right. much, much better than the one, twos, and threes you've been rolling. So you're getting there. Uh, okay, her, getting there. her armor okay. continues to burn. Um, so now she's going to focus her attention on Twitch. She just lashes out with her yellow solar brand. It burns into you. Uh, let's see. This should Twitch. You have zero hit points. You should resist five of this. So let's see if it counts. That's good. I have a fire affinity. Mm -hmm. All right. So she does 11 damage and you take six. Boink, there you go. All right. So let's see. It says E and F. Yeah, it should have been. Let's see. What does it say? Oh, type untyped. That's weird. Okay. They must have, they must have, uh, this must be 
um, typed wrong. That's why I didn't give you the resistance. Anyway, so she burns into you, slams into you, and uh, she's going to take a five-foot cottage step over here. Using the still using the computer for cover, Twitch. Can I reach over the computer, or do I have to move? You would have to move one square to to attack her. Yes. Okay. So, so when you move. Uh, let me go ahead and. Oh, sorry, I, didn't, I hit the wrong button. So, you move here. You're adjacent. If you move that last five foot, she will get an opportunity attack. Oh. Did you? No, watch? let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay. We'll just end right there at the end of the computer console. I could still reach out and touch her. Perfect. You can absolutely. You're just in Loki's way. Oh, like, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> All right, so that leads us to Orindor. She's fighting. Um, but Orindor, you have been given a boost of healing by, from the chat. Go ahead and give me 1d8 plus 5. Come on. Nice. nice, 13, so that brings you down to six wounds. So you can thank Svengal 2 Woo! for that boost of healing. Svengal 2. Thank you. All right, so now go ahead and take your turn as you feel a little bit of right. warmth course through your body so, as your wounds heal a little right. bit. All right, so is this P cover or cover? Um, This is cover. I mean, a peak cover because uh, Twitch is not in the way now. Okay, cool. Awesome. Here so, shooting down below underneath, trying to get her legs. And that's Finally. a hit. Hello. Maximum damage. Partially resisted. Ah. All right, well, anything's better than nothing. Awesome. All right, so now. I feel, I feel vindication. Ah. <laughs> Loki, you're up. Twitch steps in front of you. So you move over and you step in front of Orindor. Doing a little shuffle. The computer console next to you sparks and uh, it throws off your aim just a little bit as you shoot. All right, and that leads us to Doc. Doc is again going to let his squawks take his turn. Um, let's see, is Twitch? I don't see so he's actually gonna do the same thing he did for Orindor. He's actually gonna move up and shoot Twitch. Giving him a little oh, bit of a boost to his armor class. All right, so again, a little nanite to come out. If your already hard carapace gets a little harder, um, Beaker's gonna scramble over. All right, top of the round. Um, she's gonna go for Twitch one more time with her star brand, star solar brand. She burns into him. All right, so this is, let me see if I can. Uh... Let me 
me look at Orndor's laser. His laser is sh it's just F. I think it's the ampersand that's throwing it off. F. Yes. So let's go with... Um, I'm just going to delete the E. Well, F that. That's right. Just delete the E and just say it's F. So that should work. Oh, wrong button. All right, try it again. There we go. All right, so that time you did resist it. Um, she burns into you, this time doing a lot more damage. And Twitch, is your turn. <laughs> Guarded step, baby. I'm going to go this way, though. Okay. I'm going to go out of her range, okay? And... <laughs> Shoot at her with my hail pistol. A hail pistol? That sounds exciting. Yeah, sub zero temperatures. Hey, hey. There you go. In case nice. you guys forgot who you're fighting, that's what she looks like. Pretty cool art. Yeah. You do notice, um, those of you who have decent perception, you see that she does have one of those collars on that this, the pilot had that you saw on the uh, ship Ooh. that you rescued. One of the Allegiance collars. And we know what that means? Yeah, I do. I remember what that caller does. It caused the captain of the ship to burst. Or to Whoever's controlling that caller to disintegrate her immediately. Ah, uh, not on that adventure, evidently. It burned. I remember that crap. <laughs> All right. Um, so... oh, a long time ago. All right. So you hit and, and it uh, damages her. This time doing full damage, unlike a lot of the other lasers and other heat based things that have been hitting her. Uh, the cold does full damage. Orendor. Okay. So she sort of recoils as that hits her, and she uh, stares at you. I was trying to be nice before, but you you pushed my button. All right, another hit. And oh, the doc is going to... Uh, this next time, for, for reals, he really is going to wait and let Beaker try to hit her. And hit her, he does. Beaker runs up as Twitch shoots at her and hits her with his cold. He bites into her ankle where, where the armor isn't protecting it. Does eight points of damage to her. All right, Loki. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just shoot at her again. Okay. Okay. Nice. It's oh, 
switch on my camera. Uh, then I guess I'll move back across to the other side of the room if I can. All right, go ahead. Right, right, right there where it was before. That'll work right there. All right, and then I'm checking something real quick. It's not there. Oh, I'll have to check it out in a minute. Okay. Um, all right. Top of the next round is her. Okay. So as she gets bit in the shot a couple times by uh, everybody, I see her reach into a pouch and crushes something. Uh, and as these little crystals start falling, um, Orindor and Loki. Give me perception checks. Um, you're looking for, let's see, 15 plus... In the tower? 6, 21. In the tower? DC 21. In the tower? No, it's just um, difficulty of 21. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, so yeah. Orindor, you notice that she crushed a spell ampule, a spell gem. Okay. And she disappears. All right, so she's poof. She is gone, and then okay. All right, Orndor. We're out of battle. We're going to finish the round. As you okay. guys are reacting and seeing what you want to do. I'm going to sit down on the floor where I am and start looking through my gear. Right. Four, um, so. Go ahead and give me a um, mysticism check. Uh, again, same thing. It's going to be DC 21. Okay. I right, say so sitting on the floor and looking through your gear. Twitch. Twitch, what would you like to do? Oh, you're muted if you're talking. Sorry, I thought I was muted. Um, I just want to make sure that we can access information from the computer now that she's gone. I'm just looking around. Also, right. a little bit bewildered that she's just disappeared, but hopefully she stays gone. All right, give me a perception check in a tower. And Loki, give me a mysticism check, DC 21. Okay. All right. So, Loki, what would you like to do? I'm going to walk over here to this computer okay. and do the same thing I did to the other one. The All right, so your quick scan actually 
shows you that these two are linked. Um, and okay, so they're so both doing the same speech. things. Um, oh, just no, that yeah. they're uh, set up for two different, uh, up to four different people to work at and do the same things, but they're all going to the same, for lack of a better term, main, same mainframe and same oh. um, database. Okay. Now, yeah, you I guess know, uh, as a technomancer, there are ways to, there are basically layers of computers. So your quick scan tells you a lot of different things, but if it's if there are firewalls or if there are things, there could be things hidden that your quick scan doesn't. Well, be able to see. can I? Uh, I would need a computer check to see if that's Correct. the case. If you're going, that's what you're going to, you're going to do. Yeah. And, uh, or indoor, at least if not Twitch, can also help you guys if that's what you want to do. All right, so Beaker is going to give me another. Where is his perception? Perception right there. And well, where's my tower? There it is. It's hidden. Move it over here. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Doc is going to come over here and help you guys. All right. All right, so that is you guys are out of combat. Initiative, clear all initiatives. Don't need that. And the grease fades away after a minute or something like that. Might, might be longer than that. I don't remember. But the point is it fades away. It's magical. Uh, and it sort of fizzles and fades away while you guys are putzing around with the computers. Okay. Come on. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Let me see who is helping him. Who? who? Get rid of this guy. And I don't think Doc is trained at all in these type of things. Let's take a look and see computers. Oh, he does have computers. All right, so he I has can help. Plus eleven. So he will assist. Twitch, you're helping. Uh, do you have yeah. your total ranks at least 11 or at least 10? Yes. Okay, so you're automatic as well. Orndor, are you helping? Sure. What are your ranks in computers? I told computer ranks totals are seven. Okay, so give me a roll. All right, so you help as well. So go ahead and add plus six to the roll. And give me a computer check, Loki. So you see one of the, the consoles is damaged over here. But there are plenty of other places you can... Look. Uh, all right. So with your plus fifteen, you roll eight. So that's a twenty-three. All right. So let's take a look and see. So you there is. Something behind a firewall. Okay. 
but with a uh, 23, you see the firewall activates uh, and you're not able to access anything. Um, the firewall activates, that's not good. So you have a couple different, uh, you know, you know that there is not a countermeasure because that would have activated it. Um, but beyond that, you don't, with the 23, you're not sure what else is going on. So you, uh, you guys have a couple choices. There are a couple other terminals here. Someone else can jump on and try it and try it, or you can take a uh, take twenty or take a ten. But with a firewall, sometimes that's iffy because that means you're automatically failing as well. So it's really up to you. Right, Orndor, Orndor, step over to the console and try. He's got, he is uh, proficient in computers. Okay, well, so, Doc, right. Doc is better than even than you are. He has plus eleven. Uh, Twitch, what is what okay, is your? So I'll help him. What is your computer's total? Mine is a uh, plus ten. All right. Oh, so, I'm really I'm sucky at computers, but I'm still gonna glance over his shoulder and. All right, Twitch. Give him one more so Give you a plus six. You want me to do it? Okay, hang on. Oh, don't I need to roll for helping? Mine's under 10. Yes, if it's under 10, you need to roll to help. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, let me unlock tokens. There we go. So I'm a plus six on computers. Is that what you're saying? Yes, plus six, okay. and then make your roll your computer check. Let's see if you can get better. Oof, a four on the dice is not better. Um, no. Plus 16 is nice, but... Um... <laughs> yeah, so you learn the same thing. There's a firewall here. Um, you guys have tried to access it twice. There is more information there, but you're not sure exactly what it is or how to access it with those so if you want well, you, can, you, can, you can let doc try or you can call somebody else in or wait till later what do you want to do there's also one more room besides whatever's behind this curtain over here okay maybe this is just reception you gotta go further in. And there's also the room down where you heard the music from in this that. complex that you guys have been to. Right. What are, you, what are you guys' thoughts? Do we think that this is where they were specifically, or do we think that they were just randomly trying it? Maybe and they were randomly trying it. In other words, they have the computer guru is on the rail is on some other console, but they are saying I can do this, and they ran, try, hey, let's try these guys. So, so I'm asking, do you think that, or do you think we are in the main room, therefore should stay? Mm. Maybe we are in the main room, but all right, yeah, so, let's go. Sure. All right, let's go ahead and keep trying. I guess right. Yeah, let's let Doc give it a shot. All right. All right. So the two who need to roll, go ahead and give me a rolls. Loki, you're plus nine. So even if you roll a one, you'll still get ten. So you're good. You don't need to roll. You're welcome to if you want. Um, and Orndor. I just like good. hearing the sound. There you go. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, see, now you guys are rolling 18 and 17s. Um, Okay, so let's give it a shot and see. Go into the modifier. Plus six. C -c -c computers. All right, well, 28 is still a little bit better. All 
All right, as he's typing and, and trying to go through, you guys watch and see as he's putting in different passwords and trying different things and running a little virus program and stuff, and all of a sudden, everything shuts down. The computers power off, monitors power off. What the hell? You still have power in the room, but everything in the computers shuts down. Alrighty then. Let me trigger something. Shall we continue? See what we can do elsewhere. So, uh, Orndor will recommend that we don't go to the party room, although he is drawn there. So, you see, it's there is a small special. bed upstairs up to the north. Small bed? Yeah, a little cot up to the north. Okay. And then you have the curtains up here. And where's the door again? There's no a door came you came through. in, and then there's curtains there's one. to the west. Oh, curtains. Okay. All right, well, I'll go over and look through the curtains. Me being orange door. Just a little glance through there. Short enough, they won't notice to look down if you see, see some movement. Something back there. All right, so once you get a jump the scare, this massive small... monster coming out like Resident Evil. <laughs> yep, just waiting for you to move the curtain. Um, you see, this, there's some quarters where somebody was living. You see, there's bed, foot locker, portable toilet, and a desk with some books. So there's no way to get into here through the curtain. It's just a, a, sh a curtain. I don't understand the question. Is there a, are the curtains just curtains or is there a door behind the curtain? No, it's, there's curtains. The only things that are separating this room from that room. Oh, okay. And I'm not seeing anything in there? My quick glance? There are no living creatures or robotic creatures, no. There's... A bed, footlocker, toilet, desk, books, right. rocks. And, and some rubble, it looks like, yeah. Are the walls finished on the on the side, up and down, up on the room here? Yes, it was a... You guys remember the other room on the other side had the collapsed ceiling stuff? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. All right, so I announced what I see here. Uh, and I will go ahead and check it out. Take a look around, see if I see any personal items of interest, as well as I will check for uh, secret compartments and whatnot, since I'm good at that as well. All right, so you see the Foot Locker has clothes grooming tools and stuff like that. Um, and the only thing of real interest are the books. So while he's doing that, what are the rest of you guys doing? Let's go stand here and wait. Okay. Twitch. Can we tell why the computer just shut down? It's a safeguard. It was a. It's it's a common thing where with well not common but it's a severe last minute um, computer fail safe. Instead of wiping out all the data, which is another way of doing it, or causing damage to people who are working on a computer. Something that sometimes they'll they shut down and they lock down and they are typically locked 
for a certain amount of time. Oh, we're just kind of hanging around until we can unlock it again. No, <laughs> unless you want to do that. It's not like, you know, 10 minutes on your iPad. It's, it's going to be a long time, I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm just saying. So what you're saying is we pretty much are hosed as far as the computer goes, right? I, th I think so. So I need to do a perception check of my perception of the uh, computer. <laughs> Considering I have a plus six and I'm the lowest person on the computer's totem pole. All right, so while you guys are out there looking at the computer, checking it out, um, Twitch and Loki, you guys can give me computer checks. Or in, actually, in, it would be engineering. So if you're trained in engineering, give me engineering checks. Um, Orendor, you're looking at these books, uh, and the books you find you see are made of fireproof materials. Um, several of them are metal as well, and nice. they're all written in ignin. Don't be so ignin. Do you read? Are you? Uh, ignin, I do. I am okay. fluent in Ignan, as a matter of fact. Um, well, fluent is relative. I mean, you learned it like two days ago, but you're getting there. Um, you are able to see that most of them are older tomes on history, politics, and rivalries of genie families within the city of Brass on the Plain of Fire. One oh. newer book, though, does talk about the Jalusan family telling of their fall and hinting um, about uh, this person called Meiji. It looks, you guess that each book would be about 50 credits to, to someone who would be interested in that type of um, culture and history of the genies or the planet fire. Um, but there is one book that is different. Um, it is newer, a larger style, very fancy, like the old time monkish books. Um, it's made of paper like composite, and it's, uh, t the title of it along the edge is Burning Ascendance of the Malika. Okay. All right, I'll take all the books and I'll put them in my null space pack. All right, so. That's weird. Why does it only have? All right, so um, anybody going to check out the cot? Yeah. All right, so Twitch, you wander over there. I wonder, wonder. It's north, right? Yeah. You see that there's a Mark One computer, what's called a computer idol. It basically looks like a Trolldo. bobblehead of. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a culture check. Culture check. Picture. Uh, image, image. Yeah, right. If I can write, straw. Oh yeah, so you recognize this bobblehead as the lead singer of Strawberry Machine Cake. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> Mimi, Mimi Metal. It's a human woman, dark skin, black hair and pom poms, black uh, Hari over her pink and black knee length dress, and a rose pink guitar. 
a computer idle though, what that does is boink, it's a small statue that creates a field of good luck during the computer use. Ooh. When you fail a computer's check, the computer idle allows you to re-roll and take the higher result. You must be within five feet of the computer idle and able to see it to benefit from it. Oh, taking that with me right back over to the computer. <laughs> and you get one re-roll per day on that. Um, you do notice, Orandor, that the curtain itself, by the way, is made of a fireproof composite. Um, and you also find a data pad on the the woman that you killed. Oh, nice. So I'll throw those in the party sheet. So what? Twitch, do you know how to take something from the party sheet? Gear. I know how to put something in my own inventory from the party sheet, yes. Okay. So go ahead and do that. I don't always... I usually like people to let me parcel it out, but for now, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. There's that. You can just grab that. Uh, is it identified? Let's see. Open up the party sheet quick. It is. Okay. Good. And here's the book. Here's the book. We'll take a look. Treating Rainbow. All right, there you go. Boom. Mm. I see, you see oh. the data pad is a tier two hardened computer. Tier two? There is a control module for the larger computer here. Although uh, you see it, it's just basically um, allows her to work from wherever she wants to within the room. It doesn't uh, allow any secret access or anything like that. All right, so your engineering checks. All right, so Loki, you think this thing is, is out for 12 hours. You find a certain... Mm -hmm. Um, physical software, I mean, a, I mean, it's a physical, a physical hardware device in there that uh, you recognize as uh, like a countermeasure and you realize that this thing is set for 10 hours and there's really not a whole lot you can do for 10 hours. Which right oh. now it is 11.15, so we'll say it's 11.30 at this point. So at just before midnight, you guys will be able to try again. It's, that's when this thing will power back up. It's a long ways away. You also know that DCI, Deep Cultures Institute, also has um, also has uh, computer hackers and things, so they can bring a team in here and they can try to retrieve their own computer equipment. You could also work with them. Right. So there's a couple different th things you can do. Yes, Strawberry Machine King is a cool band name. I'm trying to find, I have a picture of her. Let me look in the assets. Um, straw, let's see, in all, it's probably under images. <laughs> It's not there. Um, music. Here, I'll do it the easy way. All right, so um, did you guys want to take a 10 minute short rest? I feel like I'm yes. leaving. Leading you guys around by the nose. Uh, you, may, you may need to on this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have. There it is. So. I have this picture somewhere. I just don't know where I have it. So we're going to save it. And put it in my Starfinder. Oh, there it was. There it was. Right there, Carmine. All right, so we'll go to this. All right, cancel, cancel, cancel. So you guys, um, in your in the other campaign, have talked and and listened to and and talked about a strawberry machine cake as well. All right, so I'm pushing you a short rest. Go ahead and burn your. RPs, if you would like. Can we do that while we're damaged as well? Or not? Yeah, you can do it while you're damaged. You get all your stamina back. You just don't get any hit points back. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Do I have anything that would... You guys should have you, you some uh, Mark uh, healing serums. Mark ones. Yep, I got. My I used back. mine. Keep myself from dying. Okay. Let's see. Very far. All right. So let's. I got a medic. I got one. The medic patch you said is for. Uh, it's for Doc to utilize, correct? Oh, yes, he can, use, he can re use a med oh. patch. Um, I said if you read the other section of a med patch, you'll see it's it's not like a... Uh, it doesn't heal anything. Right, it's not, not an immediate healing thing. Okay. All right, there she is. Create image record. Blow it up. Close it. Oh, nice. Cool. So it was a bobble head of her. As I went through all that just for a picture, but I thought it's a cool picture. <laughs> I think at least. It's like a girly uh, goth, almost. So my serum of healing is a two die four. So I healed for, I adjusted that in my wounds. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna save mine for in case Loki or I need it. Perfect, and looks like everybody's fatigue is gone. Um, and while you guys rest, um, Beaker gets half his hit points back. So he's good to go. Where Ooh. is he? Stomp on him. So he's not just kidding. <laughs> All right, so with your computer idle in hand, where are you guys headed? So if you look at uh, there was that, see, that, that had music for you. correct? <laughs> yeah, I know that we yep. that we just go into. So There's can... also other things, though, too. That's the only place left. 
Oh, it is. Okay. Yep. Then we're going into battle, then. If we do that. Uh, in, we're going into music. Yeah, I'm going to. Which means there's going to be people there. So, um, to, to the action, I'm going to fill up my right, so pistol. Go ahead and... and bullets. Go no. making it so you can see. Yeah, so you guys may want to check your rounds and stuff. Let me check Doc Dade's ammunition while oh, we're here. Right. Actions. Oi, 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 oi. All right, he gets his pharmacology back. I get that. And his needless. And his pulse casters is. Gear inventory. <sighs> Interesting. He has a hookah. Needler. <clears throat> Where are his needle? Here is his darts. So he's down to forty-three. And you guys can just charge charge in uh right there on the computer charge up your batteries to full so you don't have to worry about bringing it down charge your batteries to full right you've got power in 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 here and there was was power on the computer for a while there's still power in the room itself so too so. so you don't you don't need to change your battery charges number you can change it up to yep you can Higher than it was. Because you guys were to go ten minute rest, so you got plenty of time. Oh. What's a high, high capacity battery? Has how much? High capacity is forty, but it's based right. on your weapon. I don't know. I have to work this out. Does anybody have any bullets? In their stash. I asked the party, anybody have any bullets? Like Doc real does bullets? Not. Real bullets, yep. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody would. I probably am the only one that has a real gun. So you can go here, and you can go... Oh, it's just not shared. Ooh, okay. I... No, I don't have any bullets. <laughs> okay, thank you. Rounds, long arm and sniper, and small arms. Yeah, Orndor, you're the only one who has small arm rounds. Not anymore. I only had four left, and I used I mean, five left. And so I still am damaged four. But you guys are right next to the brass bazaar, so you can there you go. restock on okay. your way out. All right, so um, I moved the dock out into the hallway where the music's coming from. The rest of you want to catch up. I don't know where. I don't know where. Where's the door? You going to the left through the tunnel? Okay. Oh, it's this door. Or right yes. here. Yes. To where the mute. Correct. Give me culture checks. For anybody who's close to the door. All right, so Twitch, you moving down to the door too then? Sure. All right, so Loki, you know, 
you recognize the music. Um, as coming from uh, the group Clang Clang, You're Dead. Clang Clang, You're Dead? That doesn't inspire confidence. <laughs> it's techno found sound is the type of music it's called. Yeah, the categories of music that they've now created are crazy. Well, to be, that to be it, fair, you know. <laughs> some of the music even in today's society is crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just gonna like, go into dubstep and look how all the different kinds of dubstep there is. Yeah. Uh, or you should think of it as metal is no longer metal. Yeah, they have nightcore and categories into that. The hell, yeah, is this brutal one? and passive and your mama. Control V. There we go. What? Okay, my computer's being weird. Give me just a second. There we go. So whoever it is behind it is blaring techno found sound techno found sound mixes. Right now it's clang clang you're dead. <laughs> this is the name of the group. All right, so uh, what are you doing? Uh, is, is Loki in the room already? No, they're in the hallway. They're standing in front of the door. Oh, okay. So my, my top is up in the right spot. There we go. You guys want to do oh, those window music been... playing? Why not? I think we need to be ready for battle and then do something if we're going to do this. Be adventurous. Let's do this. All right. So, Twitch, you going in first? No, but I'm going to quietly open the door. Okay, as you open the door, you're blasted by this music. Um, you see a car being worked on. And here you see there's a bunch of stains on the floor. There's a utility vehicle parked in the middle, flanked by toolkits, diagnostic equipment, spare parts. Cool. No uh, people, in. no creatures. Across. Step, I'm gonna take one, one step inside the door. Okay. Whoa, look at that car! And now over to the to the west, you see there's another vehicle that's um, more sportier, smaller. It's hoisted up. Uh, uh, the engine itself is hoisted up above it, um, and then you see. On the other side, there are some cushions and uh, personal effects arranged like a nest. And then you see the uh, big hole board into the wall going to the south. Looks like that's how they got the vehicles in here in the first place. Okay. All right. That's a nice car. And you see some movement over from the red vehicle. Uh, looks like a small, like a tail. As something is under under the car working and moving around 
uh, on the car. Is anybody Dying trained in intimidation? Movie. Or we can drug him or something. Talk, have, make him talk. It's very hard to hear anybody? each other over the loud music. Well, we have mics, communicators. You do. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking, guys, you want to try subduing this person and getting information, or we can turn around and walk back, or go in and kill him. Her, it. I never really want to kill anybody initially, so let's see if we can get information. <laughs> going to either knock him unconscious or, st or stab him with a needle or clunk him over the head. Right, right. Alright, All right. So as you get there, you see a robot working on the car. Looks to be, uh, go ahead and give me an engineering check, Loki. All right, so you recognize this as a drone from a mechanic, a mechanic's drone. Okay. And looking out for the mechanic. I'm going to walk around and see if I can find the mechanic. I'm going to walk over towards the red car. So as you see the drone, uh, you guys also see standing up, sort of like Twitch, rising up from behind the car. You guys see from the red car. You get the picture. There we go. Ah, oh, lovely. The thing as it rises up. And snake like up above the car and sees you all and sort of nodding its head to the music and uh, go ahead and give me I have my handy dandy little cheat sheet here it is one of those Mysticism. Guys, go ahead and give me mysticism checks. These are that, so it's going to be that. Okay. Jesus. All right. There's no, we have no inspiration things here. Boink. All right, and as it, you see it clock, you know, register you all there. Uh, notice your attire and such. So I'm telling the group over the intercom that this is a salamander. And it's going to start sliding, slithering, moving on over toward you guys. Let me see, 20, okay. So it moves over and up into uh, into there. Um, Twitch, you're closest. What would you like to do? That's a mighty nice ride you're working on. <laughs> Say again? That's a nice ride you're working on. Okay, she cannot hear you over the music. 
then I'm just going to start bebop into the music. Maybe she'll get my jive. <laughs> Like, I'm not threatening at this point in time. All right. Loki, you're up next. Mm. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk up to it. Male, female, whatever it is. It is. And ask it to. Yell at it. Can you turn down the music so we can talk? I'm going to move right here. Right here. Okay. Um, you see Doc s sort of type in. Uh, he has a 29 to his, I mean a 30 to his identified creature which means he can learn three things. So I'll let each of you ask a question. So thinking of your character sheet, what are three things you would want to know about this creature? Or what's one thing you want to know about the creature? You know, armor class, hit points, attacks, defenses, uh, special attacks, languages, all weaknesses. those type of things. So we'll start with, uh, she said weaknesses, weaknesses vulnerabilities. Yes. Um, this thing is vulnerable to cold. Yes. All right. So, Orndor or Loki, what is a question you guys have? You each get one. Well, weaknesses, I guess I'll ask resistances. All right. So, it is immune to fire and it takes, it has a damage resistance of five to magic. So if we do magic against it, the first five points will not affect it. All right, so that leaves you, Orndor. What question would you like to know about it? Um, I'm wondering if it specifically has a weak spot. It's you know it's vulnerable to cold. Other than that, there's not like any. It's, not... it's not a construct. It's a creature. So no, there's no. Um, any particular uh, has a head, so it has that would have a brain in it. Yeah, but like a dragon. Dragon, you know, if you can get it between the scales somehow, you know, that sort of thing. You know that you know, whatever. Garlic is for vampires, which is not true, but whatever. Some little spot. I've got. A, I'm very nimble and small. I can get into him tight and possibly find the weakness. That's what I'm asking. So question is does not, null, you do not see anything that does not have it does not have anything as a creature itself. Uh, the salamanders themselves do not have that type of thing, that type of weakness besides the vulnerable to cold. Um, you do know that this thing is a mechanic. You can tell by the way it's set up, uh, just like Twitch. Uh, it has these different, um, and just like um, Will Robinson, he. he had the same type of things set up that uh, Will Robinson had. So the drone is part of him and vice versa. They communicate and they, uh, you know, the drone, depending on how, on how the drone is built. So um, if you destroy its communication, then the drone may or may not function as well, that type of thing. That's about as close to a weakness as you know of. Okay. Um, as you move up, it you see it's got... You see these uh, different tools that it has, and it sort of grabs and moves, and uh, sort of like a transformer. It clicks, click, clicks these different pieces together, uh, and it's forming a long weapon, almost like a staff type thing. Uh, and it is clear that it is going to attack Loki. Do you want to get up next to it? We cannot hear you, Bobby, if you're talking. Sorry. Uh, I'll stay right there. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and do initiative. Uh, go. Okay, so um, Roberta has to go. I will get, leave it up to you guys. Uh, with the two of you, do you want to, with Doc and Roberta gone, did you want to f start this fight next week? Or right. call it here, or do you want to well, keep going? Time. I'm okay yeah, with calling minutes, it. Sorry. You do? I'm okay with calling it here. Whatever. All right, let's call it here then. All right. All righty. So thanks for playing, guys. I know it was a little shorter than usual. Um, next week, we're back here at 530, normal time. And we will be going to the doing the Dead Sons. And then two weeks from now, we will be back. Uh, this is the last place. As far as you know, maybe maybe the tunnels lead somewhere, but as far as you know, this is the last, this is it. So um, we'll see how it all pans out in two weeks. Uh, so thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you for playing. And we will see what happens with the salamander. Like, subscribe, follow all that stuff. And whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day. Say goodnight, guys. Goodnight, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys.